and I go over them. When I give information, people think I prattle on and I go around the world and back. I have to go around the world and back and prattle on the way that I do because different people learn differently. Okay? When someone asks me a question, I've been told by people, you, you know, you need to just learn how to give people just a straight, you know, quick answer. I cannot give you a straight, quick answer because, unfortunately, I have multiple listeners coming from multiple places, and many of them have not caught up on my work to bring them current so they can really follow my train of thought without, you know, uh, taking me completely out of context or thinking that I'm some kind of guru. I'm no guru. I don't want followers. I'm not trying to be a leader. Don't follow me. My ass is lost. I don't know where I'm going. If you follow me, I'm not free, okay? But I know some things that are not very, uh, 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 it's not a very ab abundance of things. It's not a lot of things, but there's a small number of things that I know, and this small amount of things that I know, everybody else should know this small amount of things that I know to help get you on your way. Now, one of the things that people have to comprehend, and, and, and I'm, I'm backing up because I know there are people here that haven't heard all the shows that I've told them to do. They don't listen and do what I say, so they're going to become emotional and reactionary, and that's not the best thing to do when you're trying to get further along in your journey. Um, but I don't know how many people have heard the term that Satan deceives the whole world. I looked up the definition of deceive, and I thought it was important that I share this with everybody. And the reason I have to share this is because in order to get you into spirituality, I have to get you away from the dumb things that you were connected to. And I hate calling the things dumb, but for me, based on my research, I have found that almost every single religious thing that people are following is a dumb thing. However, people have to go through these different things in order to find the truth. True, real truth seekers have been around the block, like I answer questions going around the block. I answer the questions going around the block because some people learn by listening. They'll get it quick once they hear it. Some people, you can talk to them until you're blue in the face. You have to paint a picture so they can see it. Other people, you have to put it in a way that, you know, it resonates within their gut as true to them so they can follow what you're saying. So I have to try to give people the stuff uh, uh, in accordance with the way that different people learn. But a lot of people that are truth seekers have been. They've been Christian. They've been in the Nation of Islam. They've been in the Five Percenters. They've been in... Uh, the Malachi York group, they've been in the Mori Science Temple, they've been in the witchcraft and voodoo, and look, they're, they're here and there and everywhere trying to find their way. They've been Buddhists that have chanted. People that are looking for the truth have gone all over the place trying to find the truth. Now, the best thing I can do is help you to find your own truth, because obviously if you're here, you're a truth seeker, and that's the best I can do for you right now. But when they say that Satan deceives the whole world, Check out the definition that I found of deceive that makes the most sense to me in this context. Deceive means to pass a while away time. What that means is this individual that is the enemy and adversary, because the word Satan only means enemy, adversary, or opponent. The enemy, adversary, and opponent has actually gone around and caused everybody from every empire to while away and whittle away their valuable time stuck in dumb stuff. Now, as I've said before, people have to comprehend where a lot of this stuff came from. And this, uh, uh, like I've said before, the so-called Christian church, uh, Roman Catholic-headed Christian church, is behind this whole Judaism movement Christian movement, and the um, Mohammed movement. So um, where it says devil, because, you know, we're talking about the devil, Satan, and Lucifer. Remember, sa Satan is the enemy, adversary, and opponent. The devil is the accuser. And Lucifer is supposed to be the one bringing light um, to the world, and a lot of people are starting to follow the Luciferian movement because they've been told that Christianity has uh, lied on Satan and made um, the real God, which they're calling the devil, Satan, and Lucifer, DSL, um, the bad guy, when this Christian Jesus, Yahweh, Jehovah, 
is really the bad guy. All of that's true and not true. However, what people need to comprehend is when they attempt to get you to follow the so-called Luciferian movement, the same individuals are behind that one as well. And they're also going to take people down the road into the wrong stuff because they're all, they, their whole thing is about killing people and torturing people and doing sacrifices and bloodletting and ritual. It's not that serious. Again, a lot of these people, when we were trying to teach them stuff, because they didn't comprehend how we speak, just like they don't understand when we're speaking now. They took things literal that were not meant to be literal. They didn't understand analogy. They didn't understand allegory. They didn't comprehend how to read between the lines because they barely understood the language that we spoke. They don't comprehend what we're saying half the time today. Now, understand that God breaks down to the word goat, G-O-T-T, -T, or got, food, G-U-D, um, both, G-O-T-H, and goot, G-U-T-H. And all of that means Teutonic. The Teutonic people are the Germans, and the people comprehend that the Teutonic Knights, when they went in and took, overtook what you call currently now uh, Israel, Jeru Jerusalem, whatever they're calling the Holy Land is, these individuals that overran that so-called area now that people keep calling the Holy Land, they were the Teutonic Knights, and when they got in there and set up shop, they never left. Those are the, pe them, the same people sitting up over there in Israel today. So don't be confused about who you're looking at or who you're dealing with. Now, again, I think that people are being set up just like people all over the world. You have these foreigners that have gone all over the world and stolen everyone else's identity, name, and nationality, and they do all kind of damage. Just like the United States, which is a corporation, which is the bully and military arm for the European alliance of the crown heads of Europe, the heads of the church, and the heads of the international banks, um, and the heads of the mafia, and this whole thing that works together, which is all about Rome, Rome, Italy, and these Nazis and Germans or whatever you want to call them, these individuals have gone around and they've misled everyone by taking other people's names and nationality. And the United States is the military arm and bully for them, and they do a lot of damage as the United States for the European alliance, and when they're done, everybody blames it on America and the Americans. Well, the real Americans still think they're Africans, and the people that have naturalized as American or believe they're American because they're Irish American, Polish American, Japanese American, African, whatever they are, uh, Russian Americans, a lot of them don't have a clue what's going on either because here the media is controlled and the truth rarely gets out about what's really going on. And the people inside this salad bowl that's calling itself, the corporation calling itself a country, are the least informed people on the planet. And as a result, we don't have a clue what's going on. But if you comprehend that God... And one of the names for God, one of the words for God is Jehovah, and Jehovah is the Jewish national name for God. But the, the word Jehovah means ruination and destruction and calamity. It's a perverse and awesome thing. Not to disrespect you, Jehovah Witnesses, but that's what this is. And Jehovah, again, is the Jewish national name for God, whatever Jewish means. But again, if you comprehend that the so-called Judaism was also one and the same with Judeo-Christianity, which is why it was called Judeo-Christianity, and everybody thinks the stuff is all separate now. It's not separate. These people that are Rome are this inbred family. And for them, race is everything because they are a race, because they have inbred through incest so deep and for so long that they have become this big little nation and empire, but they are a family that is a tribe, and tribe means inbred through incest. And those people, as a nation state of incested individuals, do have to deal with race and racism because they have the same set of parents. With them, race is everything because they are a race. You are the race of your parents. Like I said before, if your parents have two girls and a boy, those three children are the race of their parents and their parents are the stock of the, of the race. Now, um, understand this, that ghost means a member of a Teutonic people who invaded and settled in parts of the Roman Empire in the 3rd through the 5th century. Okay, now, um, 
a devil, um, remember I told you, Satan meant adversary, for the record. And if you go into court, the district attorney is your adversary. Devil means the accuser. When you go in the court, whoever is accusing you of something is the devil in court. So when you go to court, you're dealing with the devil, and you're dealing with Satan, and the judge is God. Because one of the definitions of judge, God is judge. So comprehend what game is going on there, and all the courts are co courts of the church, based on my research. Um, but devil is, according to the Random House College Dictionary, a subordinate evil spirit at enmity with what you all perceive is the right thing or the appropriate thing that people call God, which is not one and the same with the mis misuse of the word God. Like, you know, I know what people mean when they say black, but I know what the word means, but I know who you're talking about when you use the word. It is the supreme spirit of evil. It is Satan. An atrociously wicked, cruel, or ill-tempered person. And the reason I'm giving you guys this stuff is because you have to comprehend where we're going with this whole energy thing. Now, one of the things that you need to know when you're dealing with um, your energy and your um, wielding of power, because I'm going to show you how to wield the power that you are. Um, and as I said before, one of the fastest ways to acquire power is by uh, breathing. And breathing is also one of the primary ways that your body eliminates the vast majority of its waste. It eliminates waste through pers perspiration, lots of waste. It, it eliminates a small amount of waste through urine and feces and fecal matter. But most of the body's waste is, is, is lost through breathing. So people need to learn how to breathe more um, in tune with the omniverse and the omniversal forces and get out of the breathing like a beast, uh, which is short, shallow breath. And most melanin-rich people can barely catch their breath because these people don't give you an opportunity to breathe. Now, um, the reason I gave you this information about who and all and back in the day, who Rome was, the Catholic Church, the Christian Church, and Muhammad, and all this other stuff, is I have to get you away from that to get you where you're trying to go. And where you're attempting to go is with, to the power that is within yourself. All of your power and what people call magic is within yourself. And when you're melanin rich, you can tap into it faster and easier than other people. Not that other people can't do it, but it requires more time, more energy, and more um, meditation and effort for people that are melanin deficient than it is for people that are melanin rich. The power starts within you, and it emanates and extends outside of you. That's what I was talking about when I was saying that you don't control what other people see, but you do have the power to control that um, atoms and molecules, or should I say protons, neutrons, electrons, or photons of space that are radiating from within you and around you that are what people call your energy field or your auric field or your magnetic field. Call it what you want to call it. But it's, a, a, it's something that is vib it's a frequency that vibrates from you that resonates at a certain um, length. Now, everybody as an individual is responsible for their power or lack of power. And other people have just distracted you about it. That's really all they've done. They've led you away from it because they have you looking outside for some blonde-haired, blue-eyed Jesus to come down on a cloud and save you. That is one of the reasons why melanin-rich people are in trouble, because you have denied or ignored your direct link and connection to the real um, um, omnipotence of omnipresence of the omniscience that you all call God. Okay, now, everybody has to understand that you are one with the greatest power source, whether you are cognizantly aware of it or you are not aware of it. Now, it's not all about um, who has the power. It's all about power, but more than the power, it's all about who knows.